people of the fountain. Strike is a, is a common denominator for um, Nigerian universities, so to say, at least public universities. And the reason, the factors leading to this right are usually similar. So for Kitty State University, I would not think that uh, uh, for more than half, more than half, for more than half of my time as registrar, we enjoyed the stable academic calendar, I remember, because uh, there was a, a stretch of like four years that there was no strike. What was needing to strike is that staff have some demands, which usually have to do with uh, funding, finance, money, salary, increase in salary, non-payment allowances. The moment you start paying, even if you can't pay once, there won't be strike. But we have our fair share of uh, unnecessary strikes, uh, lockout, white card strike, and all of that. But the factors leading to them are completely similar though not necessarily identical to what happens in other universities in Nigeria. There are two major strikes. We have what they call national strike. We have local strike. National strikes always lead to local strike. For example, as we on strike now, what they're asking for, an allowances and uh, revitalization of university, basically. They're also talking of uh, removal of uh, academic staff from the, the IPPIs. Okay, the IPPIs has no relevance to state university. But if at the city of university, an allowance have implication. Now, in a state university before I left, we have started taking care of uh, some of the an allowances, which runs into billions of naira. The extent to which the university have been able to pay that, I may not know. So it is not that the university have not been paid, but the capability to pay is clearly not there. So the, the factors are the fact that when there is a national strike, to keep the unity of, the, of ASU, every public university, the, their members must participate in the strike. In some occasions, few occasions, what they are fighting for may not be of direct benefit to a particular state university. But if you say you are not going to join, a day is coming that it will, you may be alone in your own problem. They will still use that national strike to help you. Let me give you an example of University of Idoni. University of Idoni, 49 people were sacked in 2001. For that reason, there was a national strike. And the fight went on and on and on until after maybe about 11 years. You understand it now? Close to seven, between to about 10 years. But the battle was won in the Supreme Court for the 49 people to be reintegrated. Those who have retired, who are different, they pay all their money. That is the power of the national to the advantage of one university. So it could be, if a uh, say university say, oh, this is national, we are not going to join. A day is coming that it may be because of you that everybody is going on strike. So you know the national, the also has an arrangement that those 49 people, they were being taken care of for all of those years. They were being given stipends, and some of them, they also do for job for them to keep body and soul together. So, so when there is a national strike, if it runs for three months, people in private state university have to go. But after the battle has been won, one common thing in Nigeria is that federal government will give financial backing to the federal university to begin to pay what the, the dividend of the strike. That is where state university run into crisis. It is at that point that the state university will now start fighting the state government mm -hmm. owner of the own university because federal government will not send the money to state university. So you now be, people will be asking, but you went on strike because of this thing. At that point, federal university will be normalized because no strike again. That is when the strike of state university will begin. So that, that I call double geopardy. They would, or unless people now use their number six, say that, how do we, if our system doesn't run now, how will the students here be able to pay fees that this, or this management will use to pay us? So you have to come to your senses. But 
they have realized that it's when they go on strike that management or government listen to them. And that is an error. And that we we'll try to correct when I was there. That you don't need to wait for them to go on strike before you start doing. So when I was there, well, as they are talking at the federal, we we'll start looking for money. We know that one jumbo paper will come. We we'll start reserving fund to attack the, and we did that quite a, quite a lot. We did that when they increased free, uh, salary in 2007. We did that when they increased salary in 2009. So that immediately the paper came out and we called the union together. We are ready to pay this money. The university does not have money anyway. We want to pay in 12 installments. They begged us to cease installment, and then we, we were good to go. We started paying, so there was no strike. So, but the greatest problem is that the federal government does not send money to state university. But one good thing about the new strike now, the latest strike is that the revitalization fund, which they call 65 billion now, will now get to state university. Just like it happened in the day of Guru Jonathan. You can say university here, we got uh, over two billion at that time to re remodel, to revamp, to, to improve obsolete facilities to replace them, that's the essence of that money. To refurbish, to renovate hostel, to buy new equipments and all of that. So I think this time around State University will benefit. But whatever is coming from Federal will not solve the totality of the problem of the state. It's an ongoing thing. It has almost become a Nigerian method now. Because I don't see why Federal Government could not resolve the strike. Because the strike started at the same time when lockdown started. So they should have you, it was a double advantage. We had locked down, there is a strike. One could have eliminated the other. So within six months, we should have finished negotiation, but federal government went to sleep. Until lockdown ended, school was supposed to resume. That was when it was done on federal government. We started meeting them every day. We could have met them in May, in June, even in April. We should have been working towards that. While lockdown is getting, getting, is getting over, Hassle strike will also end by that time. It would have been beautiful. Nobody would have felt the effect of the strike. It would have been, it could have looked like a nullity, so to say. Now, and right now, the state university is announcing its own reopening while Hassle strike is yet to be over. Well, I think uh, the, the vice chancellor is a brilliant person. He's trying to, he's trying to be proactive. The, the news that are featuring shows that any moment, ASU strike may be over. But ASU is a highly organized organization, highly organized uh, trade union. With their, their patterns, I don't see them calling off this week, because their pattern is that when they have agreed that we want to call off, they allow every university to make input whether we should call off. So they will send, they will send to each university, hold your own Congress give us information. Do you want us to call off this strike? Do you want us to suspend it? Do you want this strike to continue? So University A may say continue. University B may say suspend the strike. University C may say call off the strike. They will, tabula, they will now call the National Executive Council meeting, which they would for two days. They will now take inputs from all the university. Every university will submit it. Then they will tabulate. How many say we should call off? How many say we should suspend? How many will say the strike should go on? So that tabulation will now tell us which has the highest vote. Then they will pick it and make an announcement. So until they have done that, I don't see a strike ending. But it may be that like it is a university vice chancellor is uh, being is using Nostradamus uh, model to look into the nearest future and see that. If our student comes in this week, which I think I like, within a week or so, as a strike may also end. And uh, the two, the two will come together. And I'm not sure they're asking all students to come in. They're asking 100 level to come in. 100 level come in. So the pipeline, financial pipeline, has been dammed over the months. Because it has been dammed over the months, there is a need to open the channel. If students don't come in, students are not taught. Teachers cannot teach somebody who is far away. If students don't come in, there is no, no Solomon that can make them pay. They don't pay for a product that is not available. So if they come in now, they can be persuaded 
you guys should pay your fees, ID card, pay this, pay that, pay that. Little by little, some money will begin to come in. Because the university is seriously under pressure. Every university in Nigeria is under great financial stress. So if they come in, in the process of their coming in, doing some documentation, the strike may be over. And uh, the, 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 I, I see the decision being, being very ingenious. People of the fountain.